Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection. Today I got a vibe for you. We got some exotic fragrances on the lineup today. Today I really want to express what it is to go into a fully built wardrobe. Talk about some of the exotic fragrances on the market. Some that I have come across that really have captured my nose, captured my personality in a bottle, in a way that I can express myself outside of the norms of having just a simple fougere, something that's spicy, warm, sweet, or something that has a resonance feel. These fragrances can capture a lot of the essences of certain similar DNAs that I just talked about, but the protocol goes off a deep, deep, deep path in perfumery. When it comes to Nice, this is something that I've fallen in love with and something that I present to you guys because I know it is something that each and every one of you in this channel watching know that luxury niche fragrances are the epitome of fragrance. And so for me, when I want to introduce this particular capsule, I want to talk about fragrances that don't just sit on your skin and become alluring or sensual. I want things to talk about in this capsule that are exotic. Things that come off with a note that is exemplary in, in differentiating itself from something else on the market. So. When I talk about and tell these stories of these particular scents, I want to talk about things that can either transport you to a distant land, something that can remind you of a, a, a sweet vacation that was in somewhere tropics, or even somewhere that just presents yourself as a very meticulous and luxury filled lifestyle individual. So for these particular scents, the command that they get, the attention they get, the, the stir of curiosity that they get, and pre the presence that they bring, they leave you with a lasting impression on everyone. So if you've ever wanted a fragrance that has the blend of mysteriousness, strength, and undeniable appeal in most of the cases of these fragrances, something exotic yet completely magnetic is on this list for you guys. This is the video for you. I want you to sit back, relax, because Everything in this video, I think, was collected by me, curated by me for a purpose, and those purposes will be represented in this particular video. So just pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, we are exploring exotic masculine fragrances that are bold. They are adventurous scents that transport you to exotic lands while giving you the appeal of a very wealthy individual. These are the kinds of fragrances that exude confidence and strength that just the traits a woman can't help but to find magnetic. These are sensual, yet they are off the beaten path, so they have some notes in them that are just a bit in the exotic range. If you're ready to turn heads, let's dive into the first fragrance on this particular list, and that fragrance is one from the house of Zerzhov. You know I love Zerzhov because they have a great portfolio of fragrances. And the first one I have on this list is the scent of Ether from the K Collection. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have Ether. Ether by Zerzhov from the K or Kimi line, which was, it was once initially uh, called before they developed it and put it in the portfolio of Zerzhov fragrances. They come with a, one of the most ornately furnished bottles and cap presentations that you are going to find in any perfume brand. These beautiful, beautiful bottles come with some of the most otherworldly fragrances that are so gorgeous and they are off the beaten path which make them so, so exotic. The one about Ether while testing it, it blew my mind. And it blew my mind because it has a, a creation that blends otherworldly allure for and with grounded appeal. This one here is a fragrance that feels like you're walking through an exotic, starry landscape that is just balanced to perfection. It gives you an opportunity to sit firmly between airy and opulent with this particular scent. It's so sensual and so sexy. The lure about this one is that the opening is one of the best blast of Zerzhov citrus notes with this caramel accord that just goes off phenomenal. This particular scent is one that has a healthy dose of Bulgarian rose that is a phenomenal capturing along with that citrus accord that Zerzhov uses. It has these off the beaten path that make this feel so exotic which is cumin which delivers this beautiful spicy brightness that captivates you immediately when you put it on the skin 
it takes about three to four hours on skin to get the full development across and it stays on the skin for about 12 hours it has a great sillage behind you and the performance the impact of the performance is phenomenal once you get this on your skin the actual heart of this which is delicate yet bold mix of green phenolic pine resins balsamic cypriol which is sexy and sensual kind of like a oud feel but it's slightly um, green phenolic just like the pine is so it has this air of complete sophistication like you would find in fragrances like promise from fragrance mall and then it has this sweetness of benzoin and gergen balsam which gives the lends itself to combine the floral essence of the rose along with the sweetness and the smoky depth of the mid which is that gergen balsam and the caramel as it dries down to a sweet beautiful ambery musk fragrance that that caramel note creates a veil around all the accords and creates the exotic appeal of what zerjoff wanted to have in ether Ether is a name that's beautifully representative of this particular scent because that's just what it does. It's ether. If you guys remember Nas against Jay-Z, that's what it does. It's a nose killer. It's a velvety smooth base with a rough and rugged mid and a beautiful floral opening that lingers with a very soft warm and delicate allure for the ladies to fall in love with if you are one who appreciates distinction this scent is for you to try out because that's exactly what it does a phenomenal phenomenal fragrance from the house of zerzhoff first off on the list this is ether by the house of zerzhoff in the kimmy or k line get your nose on it fellas next up gentlemen we have nishanae's mana you know this list is going to be a captivating list when you start putting scents from the house of nishanae in their prestige line Mana is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that is an exotic powerhouse that blends earthy and spicy elements with a modern and refined touch that is beautiful. This particular scent is one of the most gorgeous bottles, presentations. It has a blue glass behind it. This presentation has the blue. Nefs has black and the shim is a green bottle. They look great on the shelf. These are very attractive bottles. The scent inside is one of just complete, bold, and inviting allure. This is a scent that's perfect for one who appreciates a fragrance with a lot of character and depth to it. The opening combines a lot of black pepper and a smooth floral geranium. And that particular area of the scent which makes it very, very sensual and sexy because that allure delivers a fresh spicy take on a start to a fragrance that catches attention immediately. But the hardest which takes over with this faucet of leather because the Turkish rose oud and leather which create the the exotic appeal of this one then blend with that suede accord which has a lot of musket in it as well it's a slightly animalic fragrance one that not very much so pushes the boundary animalic but it's just that animalic enough where it brings about the powers of sexuality and sensuality into a um a very um astute and a store like i wouldn't say austere because it has some freshness and some appeal of warmth to it so it's not very austere but it has this um, seriousness about it this very powerful seriousness about it that becomes one of those allure and attractive and puller fragrances it's slightly animatic like i said not one that's very very but it creates the exotic appeal it has castorium in it as well which creates the animatic feel it's a rich grounding fragrance that has some sweet smokiness to it with the leathery accord that makes it fascinating for those who love leathers it exudes strength at the end of the day the resins in this one are in the base and they create this amber and musk accord that feels phenomenal on the skin, especially toward the six hour dry down period. That is what makes this an opulent and exotic fragrance for me because the things in this one and the way that they actually melded all the accords and notes together make this one of the most um, sought after fragrances or DNAs in Fragcom, especially for those looking to reach beyond the norms. Um, giving this one a great mark because if you're one who wants the dry down to be specifically special, this fragrance is for you because the sensuality that comes off of the dry down of this one is one that is spectacular and exotic. Like I stated, suede, cardamom spices, saffron spices, a lot of animalic touches with some sweet warm spices. Pay attention to the castorium, pay attention to the aromatic leather touches and the labdanum that makes this balsamic. It ultimately becomes one of those attractive fragrances like Ombre Nomad that's on the market from Louis Vuitton that everybody raves about. This has a very similar appeal to that one. So if you're looking for something you want a comparative take, that's where you can put your comparison. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I think all you gentlemen should get your nose on. And it's one, to me, when it comes to pitting these against the comparatives, this one shines the most that's why this one is in my collection very gorgeous wearing beautiful suede 
oud saffron spice fragrance that's very very exotic and appealing with bold and powerful exotic strength nishane mana get your nose on that fellas next up gentlemen i got one of my top 10 fragrances of all time especially when it comes to the late autumn to early winter and leading into the depth of winter the house of fragrance dubois creates some phenomenal fragrances i very much so enjoy with the concoctions and blends and compositions that they ultimately come up with all are not for me but i do like the way most of them smell the way that Sara Oud was blended feels like it's a fragrance that was specifically blended for me and my personality and the way I want to represent myself. And that is with power, dominance, strength, longevity, wealth, economy, you know, everything you want to put in portrayal as a powerhouse, a staunch masculine person who wants the best for himself and his family. That's what I love to represent. That's what I love to put out here. And that's what this fragrance ultimately does for me as an exotic ode to beauty in fragrance and fragrance blending. If I was to ever have a fragrance, I've ultimately said that this type of blend would be what it is that I want on the market. The way Sara Oud is done as an ode to the desert is that it just gives an ode to enigmatic beauty of the Sahara. This particular fragrance is a fragrance that is both untamed and elegant at the exact same time. One for me that goes off so well in the use of a, what is, ultimately one of the best openings in exotic perfumery because it has a grapefruit note that captures masterfully the contrast between a desert and a cool day you know when i say desert they're capturing the scenery of going in an oasis um, i've seen these resorts now that are popping up in saudi arabia and kuwait where they are in the desert they have a lush landscape they have lush pool areas that's what ultimately comes to mind when thinking about the exotic appeal of what Sara does this is a fragrance that captures the contrast of the desert like i stated with that cool air the serene heights of of living life to its fullest you have starry nights you have beautiful days you have elegant gowns worn by the women you have brilliant tuxedos and masterfully class um appeal wool and casual wear done by the gentlemen this is luxury and its epitome when it comes to exotic fragrances and smells that translates to me to a scent that is ultimately mesmerizing and that's exactly what Sara Oud does for me from the house of fragrance dubois this opens with a bright citrusy opening of grapefruit like i stated then it goes with this bergamot appeal as well which then leads itself from that energizing and sense of um, inviting open to a heart of what truly shines about this particular scent which is Sara Oud and that is the complex blend of Oud, Rose and Saffron and it is not your particular Rose Oud fragrance so do not get it twisted about what this fragrance ultimately gives you as one um, of those appealing fragrances. This is a date night fragrance that very much so calls to women for that particular touch of an elegant man. This is one that has notes that come off slightly warm slightly sweet the sweet warm florals from this one along with that spice accord that is in this from that saffron have an enveloping touch for the wearer and it is an exotic embrace and that's what makes this one feel so exotic for me because of that mid note structure the base of this one has a beautiful sandalwood and amber musk um, that rounds out the actual creamy smoothness of this one so at the, at the depths of this one the longevity and then the dry down is what ultimately as the others ultimately give you an exotic appeal it is one that stays on the skin for an enormous amount of time with great sillage and projection which makes each one of these that i'm presenting to you a great performer this one lingers with a smooth enveloping touch of richness and sensuality exotic from its appeal of the way that they blended this one it's an ultimate luxury experience and i think that all you guys should get your nose on what sara u does because to me it is top 10 all time so get your nose on sara u i don't think you'll be disappointed gentlemen you know when i come through for you i come through for you i try to give you guys banger after banger on these lists and ultimately i try to present you something with an appeal and the appeal that i want to present to you in this one is exotic flavors of middle eastern western european french even some british fragrances are on this list and what i'm trying to present to you guys is something that is truly exotic in a way that not only the fragrance smells off the beaten path but it gives something of a, a, a sensual alluring factor to you while building bold character strength while also creating a fragrance wardrobe that is just curated to the utmost it's refined curation when I talk about certain fragrances with an appeal that I have for them and an affinity I have for them, no other fragrances come to mind like the fragrances from the house of Cartier, 
when it comes to the Ood line. I'm a fan of Ood, as many of you know from watching this particular channel, and the way that the Ood line was composed by uh, Matilda Laurent, I am just astonished and mystified by her beauty and the way she's done these fragrances. And the one I want to talk to you today, even though Amber, Ood and Amber is my favorite fragrance, when it comes to smell and attractiveness on your skin, Oud and Santal is the one to go for if you're looking for the actual capturing of a sensual exotic fragrance because the way that she blended this one is a refined exploration of two of the most exotic notes on the market which is when it comes to woody perfumery sandalwood and Oud are the pinnacle and she did a phenomenal job of adding these two into a smooth and incredibly beautiful captivating fragrance that is exotic in my mind because of the use of an intriguing blend of saffron and plum um, which just come off phenomenal for me the smoky oud in this one is one that transports you to the ultimate use of exotic appeal you can find yourself in a far off place when actually putting this on your skin this one transports you just like i stated in my opening monologue this is a transporter fragrance because of its lush feel it's very beautiful it's very opulent it's very mysterious this is a fragrance that unfolds throughout an entire six hour day it's beautiful the way it goes off the depth and character of the woody notes along with that sweet warm spicy cinnamon style cinnamon, saffron and cinnamon style plum is one that will put you in the mindset of fragrances like fragrances um tom ford's plum japanese which is a discontinued scent it's not the exact same scent because they she did not use the heft of the spices but she did do a phenomenal job of the oud and sandalwood and plum accords that i think Comparatively, I would not change either of the two fragrances. They are both 10 out of 10s to me when it comes to the scent profile. The sandalwood in this one with a touch of sweet, warm amber create a balance between smoky and soft that you want as an exotic fragrance. It has a whisper of musk with nice spices in the dry down that adds to the undeniably beautiful sensuality while being completely veiled by that rich stewed plum note that I talked about in the opening. Very gorgeous wearing exotic fragrance. I think all you guys should get your nose on. I'm sure at this point you've heard about this collection. I think you guys should go ahead and try these. I know that you can find them in the Cartier boutiques. I know that a lot of houses um, do not carry this and a lot of fragrance boutiques do not carry this, but there's a way to find this particular fragrance on the market and get a sniff of it. At the end of the day, Oud and Santal, a gorgeous wearing oud and sandalwood fragrance that is ultimately exotic and exemplary of those two smoky woody cord notes get your nose on it ladies and gentlemen next up on this eight part list i got one of you guys fans favorites this is Amwash opus what is that opus uh, 14 royal tobacco Royal Tobacco was a scent done by Cecile Zerokin with the utmost care and it got a lot of flash in the 2022-2023 time and it got that for a reason. Very gorgeous wearing tobacco. More to me, the incense which is representing the title Royal Tobacco was from Havan. This was a collaboration between Cuba and Oman and she did a phenomenal job. Just the room smell, just after spraying it, that room smell is amazing. On the skin, this is one of the most beautiful wearing tobacco and incense fragrances, which are two of my favorite notes in perfumery. I told you guys a while back that I am very much so turning my, um, it's the way the effect that incense goes on for me. There's a way that the pendulum swings in all of us when we find out perfumes on our collection. The way that the pendulum has swung for me is that I'm getting more into sweet incense accords because i think the way that the ethereal appeal of the incense the fragrances the olibalum and the elements come off on my skin while also adding that sweetness from things like tobacco and musk really go off well honey can be mixed into that the way that she did this particular beautiful scent is one for the ages it's redefines and refines what it means to be exotic when it comes to appealing presentation of tobacco it's one that's thick it's way 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 in the exotic range because it's it, it's groundbreaking for its regalness that's the appeal of this one this one is a fragrance that has a symphony of smoky sweet accords with spicy accords that feel like the king's crown is is being placed on your head when you wear this particular scent this is that type of fragrance the exotic appeal of this one is memorable it's impressionable it's appealing 
The opening is a fiery blend of cardamom and licorice that create an immediate and intense feeling on your skin once they burst off into the air. Like I stated, the just the room spray when I put this on the strip is just convey. I don't even have to put it to my nose. The tobacco note is one that is rich, it is smoky, it's warm, it's seamlessly complemented when it transitions to the heart with that beautiful Omani frankincense that always comes from the house of Amwash. This one also has a beautiful murder chord that adds an like a, a existential depth to this one that is so memorable and so just it elevates the fragrance that just ultimately becomes one of the best and award winning fragrances on the market today. It is one at the end of the day, it dries down with this sweet, warm incense tobacco, vanilla and taco bean with a nice touch of um, oud. I don't know where the oud come from, but it has a very beautiful oud accord. One that I would think and places itself similar to the oud accord of Jubilation 25. That takes over towards the base of this particular fragrance, creating a warm, sweet finish that is both luxurious and exotic. That's one about this particular scent that I wanted to get across to you guys because the role, the role that this particular, particular bottle of perfume can play is one that is unapologetically perfect for those who don't want to be afraid of wearing bold and confident fragrances. This is that type of scent for the fall and winter. And I think that you all should get your nose on this one if you have not, because if you've heard anything about this, you've only heard good things. And that is exactly what this is. A great, great pickup for fall. And winter of 2024 exotic amwash royal tobacco ladies and gentlemen i have one of the newest darlings in my particular fragrance portfolio and collection this is a house that i very truly have enjoyed uh, sampling and have gone through purchasing the ones that i truly love and have several more that i want in my collection this is a fragrance from the house of algabra and this is the eye of seven hills has a beautiful portrait in the back of the particular bottle fragrance this is one of the best teardrop bottles with hard glass crystal plastic top but the crystal glass is just it's a gorgeous gorgeous presentation um gorgeous juice color but the fragrance is what we're here for and the fragrance is what we're going to talk about because today ultimately what the house of el Gabra does is phenomenal work when it comes to exotic wearing fragrances this is a house out of istanbul and they create some of the most phenomenal spicy warm fragrances that i've smelled to me, this one is a tribute to the rich history of the cultural of the cultural tapestry of Istanbul. The actual fragrance is meant to capture what it is, is the essence of a city. And to me, not even going to Istanbul, this has transported me to that particular place in my mind. That's the way that this particular scent is done because the literature that they marketed it about and the way that they spoke upon it and it actually can put you in this surrounding aura of what it is to be in a different land that's the one thing about the journey that we talk about a perfumery is that's just about getting elevated fragrances it's about being in places learning what different cultures knowing what different cultures are about and how they've um complemented the world that we live in and this particular scent of istanbul is a phenomenal phenomenal wearing fragrance that is so exotic it's full of bright and captivating notes in the opening which include a lot of saffron and nutmeg spice which takes the center stage when it opens the spices then create this golden aura that feels beautifully done because of the luxurious feels that is so inviting the heart unveils this beautiful 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 elegant resinous blend of benzoin warm sweet powdery orris roots what makes this as a combination with the whiskey accord and patchouli a very addictive earthy sweet and um just phenomenal wearing fragrance for the mid now just as many of these this one is the x-ray parfum and it creates this unfurling and unveiling of the fragrance for a good time period this one not as longevity as unfurling as some of the others but it takes about an hour for this one to become dry in its essence to be what it is ultimately throughout the fragrance worry and then once it gets to that base it does have these peaks and valleys of where it still sparks the opening of the saffron accord to me this is one that dominates the composition that's the base of whiskey saffron sandalwood a little bit of benzoin and oud in this one creates this very sensual breathtaking fragrance which is one that can be if you think about it it can be peerless in the market if you've just come into knowing what a whiskey fragrance smells like with high elevation oils this is one cedar is in this as well creates a very smoky 
sensual foundation for a beautiful fragrance that I think any of you guys get your nose on it. It has a very smooth, provocative fragrance that evokes the image of ancient, rich spices, leathery cords, good, sweet ambers, and an edge that is fearlessly, effortlessly, and exotically wearable. Fragrance of the day. This is my fragrance of the day. This is Istanbul, the Turkey Algabra from Istanbul. Eye of Seven Hills, Extra Day Parfum, a very affordable niche fragrance that smells luxurious and exotic that I think you guys should get your nose on. It's a wonderful fragrance, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, last on the list is my fragrance that is from the House of Lay and Desidamles. And this is the fragrance that is a one of, well, they made 500 bottles. I don't know if you guys know about what they have done with Vidi Havan, which is one of the most uh, sought after fragrances in Fragcom. Video Fan is a tribute to Havana, Cuba, along with um, French perfumery accommodating to what it was to have a beautiful sweet tobacco fragrance. They've gone out and got an exotic piece of oud, and I already believed that Vanille Havana was an exotic fragrance. So they add the oud accord, which is one that was um, a well-aged accord. I don't know, I can't particularly remember the marketing campaign, but I do know that I wanted and have had to get this into my collection, and when I did, I am one who was not disappointed in what it is and what they offered with this particular scent because I immediately picked up on what it was that the Oud Accord was doing. I am firmly believing that the Oud was just right. I don't think it should have been more or less. I think that the way that the scent portrays itself is a phenomenal wearing fragrance. And so for me, the exotic appeal of what Vanille Havan Corde Oud is it just creates this sensual journey into the heart of the Caribbean. It is one that combines sweet vanilla with bold and exotic notes of fragrance um, accords that stream from dark chocolate from I think Colombia to the Oud Accord that they found in Kuwait, which is just indulges you in an exotic and adventurous style fragrance because it takes you off those two continents. To me, the opening greets you with one of the most beautiful boozy mixes of rum and spicy cinnamon that evokes the warmth of a tropical evening out with a cigar, which is one thing that I love. It then takes you to the heart with this masterfully interplay, masterfully done interplay of oud and tobacco notes would bring a smoky richness and balance to the particular sweet concoction perfectly. I really, really enjoy this particular scent. Now, it's become one that over the time I've had it, the month or so, it has macerated a little, which I even much so think that whoever purchases this now will smell an even better fragrance because it's done some things in my bottle that I did not pick up in the very instant that I got it fresh from the factory um, delivered. Now, so for me, Vanille Haban is a classic, it's a top 10 fragrance. This one adds to that, and that's what makes this have an exotic appeal. The vanilla in the base is a creamy, rich, seductive fragrance that is amplified by the hints of tonka bean and oud, and the ambery finish that goes on your skin, it ultimately lifts you to be both exotic and comforting around others. It's one that if you do enjoy oud, you're really, really, really gonna be enticed by this one. If you don't, it does have a little bit of a green, phenolic um, barnyardness to it, it does dry down to become a better fragrance after about an hour. And that's one thing I like about this as well because I am an oud lover and that exotic appeal of oud stays on my skin about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. I have heard gentlemen in my conversation and comments with my video complain about the longevity or the effect of it. I must say I do not experience that in mine. I would get back with the company and talk to them about that if I were you. But in my particular bottle, which is number 205 or 500, I, do not, I don't get that particular um loss of projection or longevity on my skin when i wear mine i have worn five sprays and been told it was too much five hours later so that's what i've gotten from my particular bottle this is an exotic appeal to those who love cigar smoke and oud accords in their fragrances this is just a rugged masculine exotic exemplary done sensual fragrance that i think if you have an opportunity there may not be many bottles left but if you do Get your nose on it and see what you can um, come up with with the House of uh, Lesson de Mendables, Corde Oud, Vanilla Van. Very sensual. Ladies and gentlemen, last on this particular eight part list, one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Roger Parfums. That is one that I don't say lightly because there are many that are in my top 10 of the House of Roger Parfums, and this particular scent is one of them. This is the house that I think makes some exemplary fragrances well into the exotic range of fragrances. And what they've done with the beautiful scent and oud-based accord fragrance 
Kuwait, which is a tribute to the actual um, our Arabian Peninsula state. Kuwait is just phenomenal. This here, so impressive to me. This is one that very much so calls to those who love sticky sweet fragrances with a bit of fruit appeal to them. Things that are coming up in the market today that we love are the cherry fragrances. I'm getting into it, not one of my favorite, but I'm learning what it is to have that appeal. There's nothing wrong with taking your journey and taking your footsteps. The cherry is the fruit du jour, fine and dandy. I will wait to get my turn to step my nose, you know, get my feet wet in that particular realm. I'm not rushing into it. I know that the things that I love are on the market and I'm purchasing those first. But when it comes to a fruit accord and a fragrance that it has a very mysterious take to it, a very beautiful, impactful depth is one from the house of Roger Parfums in Kuwait really takes a note on making a peach accord very, very well done for a man. And I am one who not only appreciates something like that because I want difference in my fragrances. I'm one who appreciates the beauty and the way that this one smells and how exotic it is. This one is just one that defines luxury and exoticism at its T. It inspires the grandeur or is inspired by the grandeur of how beautiful the Middle Eastern culture of Kuwait is. This is an opulent scent that is rich, regal, confident, and undeniably magnetic. It is one that has beautiful top notes that feature vibrant, beautiful rosemary with a nice citron accord that you don't see in many fragrances. I haven't seen it, but in this one, it creates a very beautiful, fresh, sophisticated opening that is dominated by its introduction. It stays, the introduction stays, that vibrant citron. It stays with the fragrance, but it then is dominated by the heart, which is a captivating peach note that I mentioned. With that, peach note along with the rose and jasmine it adds an exotic and intoxicating rich floral accord of oud and patchouli at the mid which just come off phenomenal 8,000 accords are in this particular scent 8,000 notes you know how Roja performs does it but he did this one so spectacularly well as far as an exotic not most accessible not most wearable but when it comes to the exotic feel this one is one that has that rose and jasmine floral notes appealing at you. It has an intoxicating floral richness, like I stated, with the backbone for the fragrance being smoky, earthy, and depthful from the ambergris and vanilla take with a benzoin feel to it in the base. So the civet animalic peel to this one, the backbone of benzoin vanilla, all create this lingering effect of exotic and erotic perfumery. It's a sweet, warm, cozy fragrance that adds that peach note that i'm speaking of which ultimately to me is the most beautiful hallmark to this particular scent it's luxury it commands luxury it commands attention and it is exotic as they come when you talk about how a fragrance is made blended well and has a richness to it it can become a signature scent in the fall and winter for any man to prince be and feel prestigious when wearing so at the end of the day roja kuwait if you have an opportunity exotic erotic signature scent worthy and prestigious that's exactly what this is as a hallmark get your nose on it if you can beautiful fragrance just gorgeous man just gorgeous i'm telling you you find it if you can ladies and gentlemen that is my video for you guys today i hope as always you guys found something favorable something that may be in your collection that we can have a conversation about and something that's rich and valuable to the conversation of beautiful exotic perfumery in uh, the DNA of exotic perfumes at the end of the day. To me, this is eight undeniably exotic fragrances that captivate with their unique blend and their mysterious charm. Each of these scents is one that tells a story and you know how I love connecting stories to emotion and that's what this particular list is supposed to do. It connects you to an exotic feel, an exotic realm. Taking you to a journey if that's what it is that you want to appeal to or just being one that effortlessly, effortlessly wears on your skin for someone else to feel like you are ultimately a luxurious, exotic and wealth minded person. These are drawn from regal and opulent scents of Roger Parfum from you know, the Kuwait scent all the way down to the smoky and beautiful indulgence of the tobacco and incense of royal tobacco from Amwash. Each one has their intoxicating blend that is beautiful, including the one corded oud from Lesson Demi Dables. That's a beautiful, beautiful tobacco and oud fragrance. These are phenomenal. So these masterpieces, masterpieces 
are here to suit you and your adventure spirit. So at the end of the day, if you found something here, tap in below. Let me know what you loved or liked about it. Or if you want it in your collection, let me know about that as well. And until next time and until next video, you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And I will see you then. Peace.